On arrival in PE, Gavin will book tickets back to Derb to fulfill other obligations. Josh and myself ended up spending almost a whole week in PE, as two big fronts forebode the warning of winter started. Not wasting our time, Sheep and myself rented a car and got a surf in at Jeffries. On our return to PE, we met the young couple restoring the boat Lady Africa, Ricky and Simone. On learning they were vloggers and had their own YouTube channel, we got them signed up for the trip down to Cape Town to learn some tips and get a video out of the deal. These guys did a great fit of the trip and certainly not one I'm going to try to compete with. Please do yourself a favour and go to the link in the description or check out their, cha their YouTube channel, Sailing Lady Africa. The best part of the sail down the coast was the people on board. To get their spot on Irene was Marky G. Usually at sea fishing for Choco, his wife was kind enough to send him off south with us during his off season. Marky fishes this whole coastline down to Cape Agulhas, so it was an absolute gem to have on board for local knowledge. They say if you're complaining about too little wind on our southern coast, you shouldn't really be complaining. That may be so, but the engines did run loads on this trip. To make matters worse, at one stage when the wind did come, it seemed to be coming exactly from where we were headed. Even the fishing was slow, and if it wasn't for one skippy and a block of choco Mark had brought along, my under-catering under would have been a bit of an issue. the poor fishing was due to a very thievy seal that followed us day and night almost the whole way. At least he made for some good footage. beer, food and water just about finished, we finally got some wind and in the right direction. As the day progressed though, it turned into a proper Cape Southeaster. Once again, the asymmetrical was socked and we progressively reduced sail to just a second reef on the jenny. We came screaming onto the False Bay Yacht Club Moorin in over 35 knots of wind, 
and the one engine we had left barely keeping us positioned to tie up. After launching the pillager to retrieve some beers at the yacht club, we spent the night on the mooring buoy with the anchor watch alarm on. The next day, the wind had let up and we managed to get a spot on the walk-on. With two engines to overhaul and one more work stint, this would be Irene's home for the next four months over the Cape winter. Mm -hmm.